Gospel of September the 24th, 2015, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he, tr and he kept trying to see him. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's take a good reading of the first reading from the prophet Ahaya, Ahagai. On the first day of the sixth month of the second year of King Darius, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, and the high priest Joshua. Thus says the Lord of hosts, These people says, The time has not yet come to rebuild the house of the Lord. Is it time for you to dwell in your own paneled houses while this house lies in ruins? Now thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have sown much, but you have brought out, brought in little. You have eaten, but you have not been satisfied. You have drunk, but you have not been exhilarated. Have clothed yourselves, but not been warm. And whoever earned wages, earn them for a bag with holes. Consider your ways. Go up into the hill country, bring timber and build a house, that I may take pleasure in it and receive my glory, says the Lord. Seemingly, again, they are like two different themes. But again, I, got, I want to dwell and develop the theme of the, our own selves as temples of God. We see how the two readings refer to a king. One of them is just a governor, Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, and the high priest, Joshua. And on the other hand, in the Gospel, we read about Herod. Now Herod is arrogant. And we can clearly see his real intent when he killed the Baptist. He is a cynic. Herod, as king, had to be knowledgeable about the gossip and everything that was going on in his kingdom. And because of the miracles that Jesus was performing, more and more people were speaking about him. Now Herod heard, and he was perplexed. He was hearing, John the Baptist has been raised. Elijah has appeared. An ancient prophet has arisen. But Herod says bluntly, John I beheaded. Thus he confirms that he has no faith in resurrection and no faith in God and that he wanted to get rid of John for good. So he's totally unabashed. He does not believe that John the Baptist has arisen. I behated him. Who then is this about whom I hear such things, such rumors? And it says he kept trying to see him. He was curious. But being a king and being curious was not enough to get to know Jesus. For there was another curious man, Zechariah, that short guy, I mean Zacchaeus, that short guy, the chief of the tax collectors, who was curious also about the Lord, but that went contrary to this king, went a little bit further, because he investigated where Jesus was going to pass. And he climbed the tree because he was short. And it was on that tree that the Lord in his mercy called upon him. Come down, Zacchaeus. It is important that I stay in your house. Perhaps if King Herod 
would have allowed himself to be presented and introduced perhaps if he had seek really to meet Jesus he, he would have been transformed but he didn't care about that it is the same situation the same feeling as we read these people says time has not come to rebuild the house of the Lord many of us say oh I am insane but I'll wait for next month I'll wait for next year when it's uh, Lent and then I'll go there and, and confess and then I will receive Holy Communion sometimes we even say well I'll wait for next month I'll wait for next week but it's not only about reconciliation that I would like to talk about. As we discussed yesterday, as we were meditating, it is about the rebuilding of the temple of the Lord, which is your humble and my humble bodies and hearts and minds. When is the Lord going to be happy with us? Is He going to be happy just because we go and reconcile? But we remain the same as we have been before? Does that make him happy? Is he not asking us to go into the hill so that we have to climb the mountain and bring back what he, ha what he wants to give us? And what is that? He's asking us to pray. That in prayer he will give us what, is, what we need to reconstruct ourselves. And we won't even be reconstructing ourselves, but rather allowing the force, the strength of the Holy Spirit to transform us. Holy, righteous, different, to renew us, to become the new woman and new man that God wants. And He wants, He talks about rebuilding, because when He first made you and me, he made you God. He made you good. He made us good. But then we have strayed from Him by our sins. And we have to repent and come back and seek His face. Let us be horrified by the attitude of Herod. Let us be horrified by the attitude of so many of our brothers that just don't think that they will be called upon to be presented before the Lord because we do not know the time or the hour what if it happens today in what situation are you to be presented to the presence of the Lord are you ready to be judged would you not plead give me some time I need to confess I would like to do this and that so that I can be in better shape when I am introduced for judgment with you let me change my ways today today is the time let's pray to our Father in the name of Jesus that he might send his Holy Spirit again to each of us and his children that he must change our ways and make us holy until we meet in heaven God bless you all brothers